I don't want to cancel our wedding. We love each other and are good for each other. And I forgive you for lying about your trip to Montana and changing my scores. I knew you were just trying to help me. Thank you. Did you want Dr. Glassman to come back so you wouldn't have to take care of me on your own? I wanted him to come back because he cares about you, and I know that you care about him too. I don't need you to take care of me. I know, and I don't mean to smother you. I, I just want to help you and be there for you. Do you believe I'm not good enough for you? That you're not good enough? What are you even talking about? You told me once that you could never be in a relationship with me because of my ASD. Is that what you think? It's what you said. Yeah, a long time ago. Are you seriously telling me that you don't see a difference in how I feel about you? That I haven't grown at all? Our relationship hasn't grown? Sean, all I was trying to do is help someone that I love to be there for you like you've been there for me. But you just can't seem to see it that way, no matter how many times I've tried. I mean, is every mistake I make going to be something that you hold against me forever? No, no I, I am forgiving you. No, I don't need you to forgive me. And I'm done. I'm, I'm done apologizing for helping you and caring about you and whatever else I'm doing that you seem to find so unbearable. Yes, no, no, that, it, it, that's not what I said. No, what you're saying is that I'm not good enough for you. That's actually not true. And if, if that's what you feel, then fine. Maybe we shouldn't get married. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Maybe we shouldn't even be living together. So I'm going to get out of your way, totally. And you can sleep in your own bed tonight, and first thing tomorrow, I'll start looking for a new place to live. <laughs>